beautiful German eyes. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me here, Gemini. I do appreciate you, each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you for contributing to this channel, guys. You're very generous. Your likes, your comments, and all your subscriptions, guys. Thank you for being a part of this channel. Let's go, Gemini. Whoa. Jeez. Dark Angel. Second Tray of Wisdom. Master Hilarion and Archangel Raphael. Some spiritual decree here. Telling you... To trust the plan. Be of spiritual service. Hold your center. Keep grounded. What is this uh, dark angel? What is this dark angel representing? Spirit, what does the dark angel represent here for Gemini? What is the dark angel here about? Some kind of divine order or justice or decree. Bam. Jealousy. Some kind of decree here. Archangel. Hang on, hang on, Gemini. I had to get the book on this one. It says, the dark angel comes to you with a radical truth. Divine love is always there for you without exception. Love will never forget you. It will never stop caring for you. Even when it seems most unlikely. In fact, especially then, the divine is reaching for you and nurturing you. Even our wounds are ways that we can discover love and divine grace through the healing process. The divine is always helping you remember who you are and help you to find your true joy. When the dark angel appears, you are being given a gift of light, even if it may be uh, seem to be a hidden blessing. If we don't seem to be working out according to the timing and the methods that we believe necessary, the light and love of spirit are unfailing. If a door closed in your face, it's the wrong door for you. Divine love will ensure that the right door opens at the right time. And it's looking like trust the plan is here. So maybe someone did slam the door in your face and that has been actually a good thing because it was not meant for you to begin with an ending it's making room for what is. This is divine love. This is unconditional love. When one door closes, it's to make room for what is to come. Mm hmm. Separation. It just makes room for new beginnings.
solid foundation. There's no room for this person in your life. Oh. So somebody wants to slam the door in your face? Get a move on. Because it was not for you in the first place. Decree. A judgment. A decree. This could be a marital divorce, a marital decree, a spiritual decree. Takes precedence over any matrimonial decree. What God has joined together, nobody could put us under. You know what I'm saying? If they, if they could put it under, it wasn't for you in the first place. been a blessing in disguise. Bitterness, anger, resentment, blocking, gaslighting, broken promises, not delivering. It's time to walk away and choose to walk away. Someone feels stuck, trapped, wants to sneak away, let them go. Close the door. Anyone who would reject you, anyone who would painfully pain, this is pain, this is suffering, this is agony. Who needs it? It's not for you. Decree or no decree. When one door slams the door in your face, it's because something better is to come. Jeez. Wow. Wow. Trust the plan. You know, there's God's unions and there is earthly unions. And it is the divine. I mean, it, the divine, when the divine joins people together, it is completely different than when matrimony happens you know what i mean we can all get married or be in union but there's a higher order there is a higher higher uh court there is a higher judge there is a higher someone just goes against god's plans i mean if they want to shut the door in your face let them go because it was for protection Hold your center, Gemini. Let's see. Let's get you some animal totems on this, Gemini. Sometimes life stings. Claim your independence. Spirit has your back. Miracles are endless. You have the power to overcome any obstacle. Reclaim your power and be at peace. 
Gemini. Gemini, please. Ooh, dimensional travel. You're able to open gateways to realms outside this dimension. It can be discovered naturally or through performance of rituals. You decide on the realm. You can easily tap into people's fantasies and become multifaceted examples, but well-rounded, making you hard to read. Overcome. Having gone into battle with your own dark side, you can see the divinity and the sacred elements in the darkness and in the destruction. You have the ability to be anybody's dream girl or dream guy. This is you facing your own dark side. This is you having the ability we all do. We all have a dark side. We all have a light side. But when you face your shadow, face your fears, face your darkness, that is what trans makes transformation. You might be a catalyst for change in others. You could be a fashionista, you know, you know how to accentuate yourself. But you are also a catalyst for change. You have to be very discerning. Gemini. There's some sort of karma here. I'm not going to beg anybody for their time or attention. Trust your intuition. You know. know what this is. Wishing for the past. Working on a family, but there's, there hurt. why is someone hurt? Why is someone stopping? Why is someone looking in another direction, turning their back? It's like slamming the door in your face. Let him go. This is Ten of Swords. This is Ten of Wands. When you could have a new beginning. don't have to settle for somebody who wants to sneak around on you, cheat, lie, and then this is bullshit. No, you're better off single. And love yourself. I wouldn't deal with this. It's inevitable. A tower. I mean... Telling you to walk away. Don't be juggled. Don't have regrets. This is an ending that should have ended. <coughs> it's like someone wants to just, you know, they figure that they can come and go whenever they want to go.
No. If you feel any resistance, let them go. Gemini, you could have been just a catalyst for someone to change. But if they're not willing to change and they don't want to change, let them go. Because there is nothing ahead of you. It's telling you to be independent. It is telling you miracles are endless. And that you have the power to overcome any obstacle that you may may have. And I don't I don't like their energy. It's I don't. In the darkness is where we find the light. And without the darkness, we would never know the light. So it's actually a blessing in disguise to you. Let's go, Gemini. 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 Mother Rose. This is about returning to to yourself with compassion and humanity. The anointed. Answer the call. Empower. You have soul gifts. Trust the seasons. Embrace this change. Growth. Creations are realized. The right time. You will be celebrating and healing is happening. You're not broken, Gemini. Trust the process. It is safe for you to soften. It, it is safe for you to soften. Hold your center and be at peace. You have the power to overcome whatever obstacle that you have. But if somebody is not willing to overcome that with you, then let them go. It's almost like uh, slamming the door in your face. <laughs> See you later. It's because it was not meant for you. Because anybody meant for you would never do that to you. It's been a catalyst for you to change, though. Thank them for the lesson and move on. It's something you won't repeat. It's given you a lot of discernment, wisdom, and knowledge. Other messages for Gemini. Other messages could be to do with the King of Wands. And you. And defeat or envy or jealousy about some kind of contract or some kind of agreement. decree whatever spirit has decreed will be if it's not of spirit it's not going to be it will not come to fruition Is somebody wanting to juggle I don't think so now there's anger resentment Let it go. Take care, Gemini.